I'm gonna go to Fothy Inn before going food shopping because I find that eating beforehand saves me so much money. This is one of the places that's in the same mini mall as the food store. This is the typical spice rack that comes at every table. You have your soy sauce, your plum sauce, your hoisin sauce, your sweet chili paste, and your local mass-produced sriracha sauce, which I swear every place, even the Mexican places, have that sauce. So I was part of the marketing department, did a good job. Flat bottom spoon is for twirling the chopsticks for the noodles. And here we have spring roll with daikon radish, cabbage, and rice vinegar salad, sort of. This is taifa where they put raw beef into very, very hot broth. We have our basil, uh, bean sprouts, fresh jalapenos, and a slice of lime that you can't see. I always put the sprouts in so that they can soften up a little bit in the hot broth. And also to help loosen up all the noodles that stick together because they always come pre-cooked. And the hotter the water, the more the noodles will separate and act like fresh noodles the way you want it to. This is the part where you get to make it taste whatever you feel like. Yeah, cures what ails ya. And for some reason, rice noodles always stop me from being able to finish it. So if I get clear noodles, I'll be able to eat the whole bowl, which is about the size of a small mixing bowl. They're huge, but it's so much liquid. Okay, we were at Foth Yen. Or there's a Y in there. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it. I'm not from the country. Uh, that was your typical Thai pho. Where it's where they put the raw meat into the boiling soup broth. And it cooks like instantaneously. And if the broth is not hot enough, it doesn't break down the gluten. So then it doesn't break up the pre-cooked noodle clump. And I like my hot soup, even in summer. Because real Thai pho broth, or... Vietnam, whichever one, both countries do it very, very well. It fixes my psoriasis. It fixes your joints. It makes you not hungry when you're done with your meal. It makes you a little bit dehydrated, so try to drink a lot of water with it. I know it makes you look like you're cheap, but seriously, your body will want the water. Bone broth, when it's real, acts differently chemically within your body. You're going to need it. Uh, I didn't realize how unsalty their recipe is, but that doesn't matter because if you saw the little thing off to the side, there was soy sauce, there was fish sauce, and both of those are very, very salty. So if I wanted it saltier, I could have made it that way. You had your chili paste, you had your sriracha sauce, which that cock one, even at the Mexican restaurants, it's like the sriracha sauce for DFW. Whoever did their marketing did a great job. Um, plus, if you notice, there was the lime, there's the bean sprouts, the jalapenos, the basil. It's the most versatile dish ever made, I swear. And it helps with everything, and it fills you up, and mm, it's wonderful. And then you saw the little carrots and the radish. I believe it's daikon radish they chop up. And then there was the sweet rice vinegar, which is not harsh at all. It really works like a palate cleanser, so you can go from one to the next, one to the next, um, with a fresh perspective almost. Uh, I think it did somewhat affect whether or not I could taste salt or not. Vinegar does have that effect on me. I don't know if it does on you, but you know it's a real Thai Vietnamese type restaurant when there are no crab rangoons. Or if they do make them, it's only because they got tired of being asked. Because crab rangoons are actually Chinese. They're not Vietnamese. They're not Laotian. They're not from that part. But they always have some kind of either spring roll or um, egg roll. They always have that. And except the real ones always have that carrot radish thing with the vinegar. Always, always, always. Chinese restaurant does not have that. Because it's not the same culture. Um, but yes, just to make sure that if half the menu is not in English, you know it's a good place. If it's a hole in the wall, usually in a mini mall, you know it's a good place. If it's too frou-frou, 
I tried eating ones at one of the frou frou places that claimed to have pho, where all the white staff were like white people. The broth was canned. Because canned broth is mostly water with fake flavoring. There's no collagen. Collagen digests like food, not like water. How do I know this? Because water makes you go to the bathroom within 45 minutes. And if you have to drive all day, bathroom breaks are losing you money. So this is why I know when it's fake. My body done tell me so. <laughs> and that same fake bowl of pho with their water broth. They had this new age kind of like mushroom noodle that had, had texture like sandpaper. Like really fine sandpaper. No thank you. Get that the F out of my pho. <laughs> Not happening. Uh, and then they had like half as many bean sprouts, half as much basil, half like well, half of everything that a normal Thai restaurant would give you, like the real mom and pop shop. No, they always over deliver as best as they can. And Americans get a little bit skimpy, you know, they just can't. So I know there's a lot of very nice, very elegant, very high quality good flavored hoity-toity restaurants out there but I still argue between food trucks and mom and pop shops or the freshness or the healthiness of the product that you are given you never know where the small guy can outdo the big fancy fancy restaurant I still say my fried steak at home can go up against a few but we'll see if that's true or not. I'm still debating if I should enter in a steak frying competition because they do exist. And if you go up the ranks, from what I've been told from other competitors, there's money in it. So, but yes, if you're ever near Halton City, please come. Uh, almost every single pho or little Asian restaurant around here. I've been to all of them, I swear. I just haven't made videos about it because I've been driving for so long. I just go wherever. I try to make it a new place every time, and they're all good. They're all a little bit dilapidated, very, very clean, very well run, very, very fresh ingredients. You don't, que you don't have to question any of it. They're all good. So if you ever come to the north side of Haltom City or north side of Fort Worth, it's all good around here, baby. It's all good. You can eat to your heart's content. Now, the reason I eat here today, I need to go food shopping. If I eat first, I save a lot of money. Have a good one.